New England's maritime history is as rich and diverse as the region itself. Shaped by centuries of exploration, trade, fishing, and naval warfare. From the early days of European colonization to the present, the waters surrounding New England have played a pivotal role in shaping its economy, culture, and identity. Join me as we explore the maritime history of New England, highlighting the region's enduring connection to the sea. The maritime history of New England begins with the arrival of European explorers in the late 15th and early 16th centuries. Portuguese and Spanish sailors were among the first to chart the waters off the coast of present-day New England, followed by English explorers such as John Cabot and Bartholomew Gosnold. These early voyages laid the foundation for European colonization, as settlers from England established permanent settlements along the coast in the early 17th century. The establishment of colonies such as Plymouth and Massachusetts Bay brought a wave of English settlers to the region, many of whom relied on the sea for their livelihoods. Throughout the colonial period, maritime trade flourished in New England, fueled by the region's natural resources and strategic location. New England merchants traded goods such as lumber, fish, and furs with Europe, the Caribbean, and other colonies, establishing prosperous trading networks that spanned the Atlantic Ocean. The triangular trade, which involved the exchange of goods between New England, Africa, and the West Indies, played a central role in the region's economy, bringing wealth and prosperity to merchants and traders. Fishing has long been a vital industry in New England, dating back to the indigenous peoples who first inhabited the region. In the colonial era, fishing became an essential part of the New England economy, with cod, mackerel, and other species abundant in the waters off the coast. The development of new fishing technologies, such as the schooner and the trawl net, enabled fishermen to harvest larger quantities of fish, further fueling the growth of the industry. Similarly, whaling emerged as a lucrative enterprise in the 18th and 19th centuries, with New England sailors venturing far and wide in search of whales and their valuable oil and blubber. New England's maritime history is also marked by periods of conflict and naval warfare. During the colonial era, New Englanders played a significant role in the naval struggles between European powers, participating in conflicts such as the French and Indian War and the American Revolution. The War of 1812 saw New England once again thrust into naval conflict, as American sailors clashed with British forces on the high seas. The region's shipyards and ports played a crucial role in supporting the American war effort producing warships and privateers that helped to secure victory against the British. The 19th century brought significant changes to New England's maritime economy, as industrialization and technological advancements transformed the region's traditional industries. The rise of steam-powered ships and the expansion of the railroad network reduced the importance of sailing vessels in maritime trade, leading to a decline in the shipbuilding industry. Similarly, the discovery of petroleum as a cheaper alternative to whale oil spelled the end of the whaling industry in New England, as demand for whale products dwindled. The maritime history of New England is a story of exploration, trade, innovation, and conflict. From the early days of European colonization to the present, the waters surrounding New England have played a central role in shaping the region's economy, culture, and identity. While the maritime industries that once defined the region have evolved and changed over time, the enduring legacy of New England's seafaring past continues to resonate to this day. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, maybe even learned a thing or two. While you're in the neighborhood, feel free to check out some of my other videos. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can easily find your way back.